Hello, I'm Kim. I am one of the instructors for Yoga for Change. And I'm here just to get your body a little loosened up, get the blood flowing a little bit. Um, if you're like me, I've been kind of like slowing down a lot lately. Um, and I'm just ready to get my body moving again um, and get the blood flowing. So we'll get into some movements um, that will get some of the kinks undone. So we're gonna start standing. So as we start standing, we're gonna bring our feet wide. So bringing your feet wide, root your feet in and feel the energy between your legs growing all the way up. Stacking your shoulders over your hips. And we're gonna start with um, a wood chopping breathing technique. So inhale, 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 exhale. So. To a forward fold, bringing your hands in line with your toes, bend your elbows, and exhale and fold. Making sure you're not going to fall out, pass out, coming back to your breath. Inhale, press your hands into the earth, and inhale and halfway lift. Getting into the back of your legs. Exhale, fold. Maybe you can go a little bit deeper. Maybe you're still crunchy. On each inhale, inhale, rise halfway. On each exhale, hinge at the hips and go a little bit deeper. Remember to press those feet into the earth. Three more breaths. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, really lengthening that spine, exhaling, folding, hinging at those hips, toe heel your feet underneath your hips or just about, point your toes out and as you inhale, come into your goddess. So pressing your feet into the earth, making sure your heels are in line. Nope, your ankles are in line with your knees. Pressing your legs away. And then inhale your arms up into your gold post arms. Opening that heart. Really feel your legs, the energy drawing in, in between. Tucking your tailbone, engaging your core. Inhale, bring your heart up. Taking four more breaths here, really feeling the heat building in your legs. Deepening your breath, deepening your exhales. Anytime you need to release heat or tension, exhale out the mouth, letting it all go. Two more. Bring your hands down to your knees. We're gonna drop that left shoulder in, dropping your left shoulder in, looking over your right. Inhale through center. Exhale, drop your right shoulder in, looking over your left. Again, inhale through center. Press your legs in, feel the energy in your legs. Exhale, drop the left shoulder in, look over your right. Inhale, exhale. One more round. Inhale through center. Exhale, drop it in. Inhale. Last one. Inhaling, rising all the way up, stopping to the stepping to the front of your mat. Coming to the front of your mat, finding your mountain. So feet are about hip distance apart. Shoulders rolling down. Arms lengthen alongside your body, feeling your fingertips growing towards the earth. Tailbone tucked under, core is engaged, shoulders rolling back, crown the head reaching. Feel the earth beneath you. 
We'll do some morning breaths. Inhale those hands up overhead. Maybe a baby back bend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Root those feet into the earth and inhale and rise all the way up. Exhale, those hands to heart center. Three more just like that. Inhale, big. Exhale, fold. With your own breath, halfway lifting. Exhale, folding. Rooting the feet in as you inhale, reverse one. Dive all the way up, reaching the energy up to the sky. And exhaling those hands to your heart. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach big. Exhale, those hands to the heart center. Last one, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Baby back bend if it feels good. Exhale, fold. Hands to heart center, sorry. Inhale, those hands up, up to the sky. Exhale, fold. Plant those hands, step your left leg back, drop that knee. Inhale and rise up. Low runner's lunge. Lifting that heart, looking up if it feels good in your back and in your neck. Exhale, frame that foot, tuck those toes. Step back to your first down dog. Walk out the down dog. Pressing your hands into the earth. Walking it out. See where the crunchies still are living. Two more breaths here. Looking forward, tiptoe all the way to the front of your mat. Bow over those legs and inhale and root those feet down and inhale and rise all the way up. Exhale those hands to heart center. Pause here. Notice the difference between your right side and your left side. Roll the shoulders down. Inhale those hands up overhead. Exhale, fold. Press those hands into the earth. Step your right leg back. Drop that knee, finding your low runner's lunge. Inhale, hands up. Maybe a back bend. Maybe you just look up. Or you can always place your hands on your thighs if it's too crunchy here. Exhale, frame that foot, tuck the back toes if they're not already, and step the left leg back. Walk it out. Landing in this down dog. Looking forward, tiptoe all the way to the front of your mat. Plant your feet into the earth. Inhale and rise all the way up. Exhale those hands to heart center. Pausing here. Checking in. Where do you need to breathe into a little bit more? Where can you let the tension drop a little bit more? One more round just like that. Inhale, hands up overhead. Exhale, fold. Plant those hands. Step your left leg back. Drop that knee. Inhale. Exhale, frame that foot. Tuck the left toe, step back to your down dog. One more breath in this down dog. Look forward, tiptoe to the front of your mat. Root those feet into the earth, inhale and rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last one. Inhale, exhale, fold. Plant those hands, step your right leg back, drop that knee, inhale, rise up. Baby back bend if it feels good, reaching for the sky, taking it back, opening up that heart, exhale, frame that foot, tuck the right toe, step back to your down dog. Pressing your feet into the earth, press 
your weight into the left inhale that right leg high to the sky open up that hip bending that right foot stacking your hips circling your foot circling your knee feeling your hip here squaring off your hips again looking forward coming into your pigeon so here is where you can use your props if you need them trying to bring that knee and that ankle aligned tuck the back toes on that left foot lift up coming off that knee a little bit stretching back and then untuck your toes making sure that leg is straight behind you so if this is a lot you can stay here if you're feeling great and you're not just hanging out you can begin to hinge forward using props you can place a block underneath your hip here placing a block or a blanket underneath your heart here will help you not just hang out on your shoulders breathing into that hip relaxing A lot of emotions that can be hanging out in our hips, especially if we're sitting a lot, if we have a lot going on. So if those emotions come, just let them flow. Check them out, let them flow through. Remembering to breathe. Taking two more breaths here. Remembering if there's any time you want to hang out in a pose a little bit longer, you could pause the video. Hang out here a little bit longer if you like. Place those hands underneath. If you're forward, Press your hands into the earth, tuck those back toes, and take that left leg high to the sky. Be gentle with yourself. Circle that leg a lot around. Drop it back down and meet your left. Walk it out if you need to. Bring your weight into your right leg. Inhale that left leg high to the sky. Bend that knee, open up, circle your foot, circle your knee, letting that hip know, it already knows we're coming, so making sure we're breathing into it and that's not tensing up, squaring off your hips, looking forward, bringing that left leg up to your variation of pigeon. Once again, Tuck those back toes, straighten that leg out, press that heel back, come off that knee, untuck the toes. Align your knee in line with your ankle. Each side, especially with hips, are very different. You probably noticed on my right leg, it was a little bit more in line with the front of the top of my mat. Here, this one is a little bit more crunchy. So I'm just making sure that my knee is safe, that I'm not holding too much there, and that I'm not having any pain, just sensation. So this is definitely one of those postures that you can cheat. So make sure you're feeling sensation. You're not just hanging out, you're feeling sensation. You're feeling some tension letting go. Making sure you're not, your shoulders aren't up here. Drop them down. Try to relax into this posture.
notice anything that might come up. Recognize it and honor it. Four more of your own breath. Inhaling deep and exhaling deeper. Maybe you let out an audible sigh. Last one. Tucking those back toes, bringing your hands back underneath you, crossing up, and oh so gently coming back into that three-legged dog. Circling that hip around. <laughs> Maybe you heard my paw. Walking out your dog. Dropping your knees. Coming on to your bottom. Taking your feet as wide as your mat. And windshield wipe your legs. Dropping your knees to the left. Dropping your knees to the right. Hands behind you for support. And then next time your knees come to the right, allow them to drop over, over as far as they can. And begin to walk behind you. So I'm a little crunchy today. So this isn't as easy as it normally is, so. This is where use of props can definitely come in handy. Putting a blanket underneath you. Kind of twisting and relaxing. One more breath here. Inhale, walk yourself back around to the center. Again, bringing your hands behind you and windshield wipe your legs a couple times to each side before switching sides. Maybe you have some crinks and pops. All good as long as there's not pain. And the next time your knees drop to the left, allow them to fall over. Same thing as your hips. One side might be more comfortable than the other. Begin to fold over. Unraveling. Allowing your heart to melt a little closer to the mat. Checking in again where you're holding tension. Breathing into that area and exhaling out the mouth. One more breath here. Inhale, come back up. Walk your hands around. Bringing them to behind you once again, windshield wiping in your legs. Bringing your feet hip distance apart, pressing them into the earth, we're going to come into reverse tabletop. So your hands can face toward, your fingers can face toward your toes, or they can face the other way if that's more comfortable with your shoulders and your body. Mine are more comfortable this way. Pressing your feet into the earth, pressing your hands into the earth, begin to raise your hips up. 
Maybe it feels good to drop your head back a little bit. Pressing your knees together like there's a block between them. The energy is engaged. Your feet are pressing in. Your hands are pressing in. Your heart and your hips are lifting. One more breath here. Exhale, slowly lower back down. Maybe windshield wiper if that feels good. We're going to go back up two more times. Maybe each one's a little bit longer. Bringing your legs back to stillness. Press them into the earth. Press your hands into the earth. Inhale and lift up. <sighs> lifting your heart, lifting your hips, pressing your hands and your feet. <sighs> Engage those legs like there's a block between them. If you want to challenge yourself, put a block there. <sighs> Lift a little higher. Exhale, lower down. Windshield wiper, release. Last one, make it count. Like it's the last one of the day. Maybe you want to keep doing these. Press your feet into the earth. Press your hands into the earth. Inhale, rise up. Maybe it's become a little easier now. Feel the strength in your body as your hips lift, your heart lifts. Three more breaths. Breathe into it deep. Last one. Exhale, lower down. And show it. So a great thing to do regardless of where you are in your practice, where you are in your day, anytime you feel too much going on, a great thing to do is to do legs up the wall. I'm going to demonstrate it right here on the couch with bringing my legs up there. So options, legs straight up, stay here. You can do Put a block underneath your hips or a book or a blanket, legs up. You can literally use a wall if you prefer. Or my favorite thing to do in the middle of the day when I'm feeling a little, a little crunchy, need to get some energy out, allow my legs to drop over my couch, allow my spine to be supported. Arms can be alongside your body, palms up, or you can have one hand on your belly and one on your heart. Sometimes when I'm feeling all the feelings, this is a great grounding technique, bringing that energy inwards. Allowing your spine to be supported. Legs are still over the heart and head. Options are to stay here or moving in to the position that feels best in your body to take your final relaxation. Maybe taking your feet as wide as the mat, allowing your arms to be long beside your body. Taking up all the space you deserve. Taking a deep inhale through the nose. Opening your mouth and exhaling out with a sigh. Feeling each one of your limbs growing heavy being supported by the earth. Feeling 
your shoulders, moving away from your ears, down your back. Feeling the vibration from this practice radiating through your body. Feel your heart shining. The warmth in your belly. Releasing control of the breath. Hot thoughts float in, hold them in your palm for later. here if you wish or if you like to come back out of your rest begin to deepen your breath bringing control back to your breath inhaling feeling the belly feeling the ribcage going all the way to the top of your lungs opening your mouth Laying out a sigh. Beginning to bring movement back into your fingers, your toes. Turn your head side to side. And eventually taking a big morning stretch, bringing your arms overhead, lengthening your legs, stretching from the tip of your fingers to the tip of your toes. Bending your knees, giving yourself a hug, maybe rocking side to side, giving yourself a little back massage. Eventually landing on your favorite side. Pausing here. And pressing up to an easy seat. I hope this practice was able to give you some energy back into your body, get your blood flowing again. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.